my God. Best yes. thing. Right. The day after the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Flew home, went to the ball field to catch my kids' ball game. Yeah. Which we do. Yeah. Next day, eight inches. It yes. was so great. It feels it different. It's like fresh and it feels light and it's I know. nice. I yeah. Feel like a new person. Yeah. You look cute as hell. So yeah. <laughs> well, you're we're in 30 Rock. We just moved here. And I know you've been here at it. least a few times just with SNL. Yes. So what's one of your favorite memories? Oh doing my that gosh, show? I love this building. I mean, I actually did the 30 Rock show with Tina Fey, which was really fun. Yeah. Best memory I have was meeting Paul McCartney, like right out in the hallway. I was gonna ask I mean, you, you meet random people oh, in the hallway. Oh my here. god. Yes. <gasps> he's so nice too. He's so he's a beetle and he's nice. Yeah. Yes. yes. Which yes. which gives everyone else no reason to be a turd. Okay, see? Yeah. My mom has always said it's just as easy to be nice as it is to be a jerk. Yeah. So I don't know if that's true for some people. I know it seems like it's a challenge. Yeah, I was like, oh that's natural. Yeah. That's innate. Wonderful. Yeah. Um <laughs> So we always have like crazy print stories in the 40th anniversary. Everybody has a story from that party, but you yes. have an incredible, you've written a song he's recorded. You've played basketball with him, I hear. That's so this is the craziest story. So um, Prince did, recorded all, uh, he recorded Every Day is a Winding Road. Yeah. And it was funny because he changed some of the words. Yeah. So I, mine said, uh, lost in a sea of anarchy, um, nicotine and caffeine or whatever, and he changed it to chamomile tea. And I was like, oh, okay, Prince. Um, <laughs> very zen. But, yes, very yeah. zen. Um, and he invited me to Paisley Park. I went, um, he showed me around. He has a full basketball court in there. And girl, he played basketball in his heels <laughs> and like creamed me. And I'm pretty good, okay? I'm, I'm not. not bad. Um, but I mean, he was like swoosh, you know, a little Steph Curry action, and he was fantastic. And then we went in, he had me sing, not have sing that. with him, and then I played harmonica on something. And then we went to First Avenue and just like, excuse me, y'all can get off the stage now. And he just took over. It was like dream. Yeah, what a cool thing. It and for really him cool. to like sing your words, even though they, yes. he changed them. <laughs> I know, even though he changed them. Yeah, I, every time funny. I've sung the song, like he showed up to, um, he showed up to Lil Fair in Toronto. Every time I sing that song, I'm like, oh, chamomile tea, I miss you. I know, that's, yeah. it's a pretty big thing as a writer just to have him record a song. Yes. Anyway, that's, that's pretty yes. cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of working with people, Gary Clark Jr. was just here. He's one of my favorite artists, but also I people, because he is very honest. Yes, <laughs> yes he is. And ridiculous, and I love him. Uh, he was just here and he had this to say. You learned a great lesson from Sheryl Crow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... I got hired and fired by Sheryl Crow in the same day. <laughs> um, Which I don't mean to laugh, but it's just no, it's like, fu it's funny now. so funny. I, I, it's like... I was hurt, I was hurt. You know? Why did she fire you? Well, I wasn't prepared. The second time comes around and she goes, yeah. <laughs> hey honey, um, this just not gonna work out. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I get it. Thanks for being sweet. I mean... Wait, here's the best part. I asked him because he said, he got fired because he should have been. He was like, well, I was ill-prepared. He was like, so it was fine. I go, oh, well, at least you learned a lesson. And he goes, no. And I know, I, I know. Like, oh I God. love him so much. And actually, since then, we've become really good friends. I had no idea how amazing he was. No, and I think he's one of those people yeah. that probably plays differently every night. Yes. And sticking to any kind of prayer was probably so been foreign torture. to him. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and like, because I'm used to like kind of sticking to certain things. But yeah, I just thought it was hilarious that he was like, I learned nothing. Okay, <laughs> he did text me right after he was on the show. He goes, <laughs> just want to let you know I talked about you on live TV. Oh my God, it was hysterical. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm going to come back to that because it's huge. And Laura yes. Dern, who I didn't know, used to be roommates. Y'all used to be roommates. She actually yeah. presented the award to yes, you. Yes, I've known her, I feel like, all the way back to the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> a period film. Back yes, in the yes, um, No, that's incredible. Yes. I didn't know that about y'all. And that Love how, her What a so cool much. full circle moment. It was, you know, it's funny. We, we've been through, you know, your life just really transitions when you're, you're young, you're on a trajectory of like, I'm gonna do this project and that project, and then your kids come mm -hmm. and your friendships all deepen or they go away. Mm -hmm. And she's just been there for the highs and the lows and we're, we just show up for each other. So that's cool. Love her. Yeah, and it's cool to find someone in the industry like that too. That yes. understands the pressure of it as yeah. well. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, well, let's talk about your new album. I was jamming to it this morning um, before I woke up at like 5 a.m. this morning and got so much life done before even work. And I was I was jamming at Evolution. It's so good. Thank you. And it's very raw, but it's very catchy. I love your lyrics so much. Thank you. Yes. So Thank you. It, let's, it's called Evolution. Yes. I will say, do it again. 
and where is that one of the last yes, ones? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. those are stuck out to me. They're so good. Thank you. Yeah. So Thank what's you. what's the single you're gonna go with though today? So they put I think they put out Evolution and it's I mean surprisingly it's done pretty well. I don't know how you know it's it's funny to be my age now. So but they're really the and you don't even know what success means. I anymore. don't know what yeah. that means. <laughs> I've been so lucky. I was around when people bought albums. You know. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, I know exactly how many people bought it and yeah. Um, but the the album was really inspired by this whole discussion about AI and what that's going to mean. And you yeah. have kids, I have kids. I'm sure many of you guys do too. And just our grappling with what truth is, and do we even know want to know what the truth is? Now we get algorithms that kind of yep. tell us uh, that we're right and you're wrong, so you're the enemy. And you know, yeah. it's just a weird Division. time to raise kids. Um, and so the album asks a lot of questions. I mean, it sounds like a heavy album, but it's not. It's really a fun album. But, yeah. And it was joyful to make. Um, so hopefully people will find I think that on you're it. great at that, though. You have this very beautiful gift of like going deep with the lyrics and the messaging, but making it light and fun to sing with. Like the whole audience was just singing, you know, Soak Up the Sun. Even that song, like to just rest, be still, soak in the moment, like be present, like all that. It's a lot, but everybody sings along and it sounds like such a fun song. You have a very special gift with Thank that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I love that. And I your voice on that. Where is so beautiful. So what was really fun about this record, because I, you know my last record, I said, I'm not making any more albums. You I'm did? I'm done with that, yes. I That's made a rude big to statement. all of us. <laughs> I'm sorry if I insulted anyone. Yeah. Um, I just felt like, you know, uh, I grew up with albums. People don't listen to albums anymore. They listen to playlists, yeah, right? you should listen so, to from front of, yeah. Yeah, so don't, people don't do that. And it's like a lot of money and I produce myself, so it's a lot of mm -hmm. time. And, and this record was just an emotional download of songs that happened all like after my kids start going to school in the fall. Mm -hmm. And I called my friend Mike Elizondo. I don't know if I you know, know Mike, yeah. great, great producer. Yeah. And I said, I have these songs and I don't want to produce myself. I want somebody to blow my mind yeah. With what can be done. And so I sent him where, which was a demo, God. just acoustic and vocal. And he just was like, okay, come over, see what I did. It's and so great. He just, I say he Martin scorsese did. it. I mean, he just like. Literally every song is so yeah. different. Even the production, it's yeah. all got really great grooves, great vibes. The yeah. rhythm guitar is really cool throughout it. It's just a really great, Greatest nice gift I done. ever gave myself. Yeah, it's Greatest very, gift. very cool. What Thank Your you. first single, though, is Alarm Clock. So. It was Alarm Clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I like that one, too, and everybody relates. <laughs> everybody relates. Yeah. I laugh with my kids because I have one that springs out of bed, and it's like the day is on. That's my daughter. Yeah. And I, then my son I is I cannot me. relate. Yeah. yeah. My 13-year-old is just like, I hate my alarm clock. And mm -hmm. so I was like, I'm going to write that song. Yeah, because yeah. we all do. We like do Like this morning, it. I woke up four minutes before it was going to go off, and I was like, yes. <laughs> Because oh. I could turn it off. Yeah. I woke up and I didn't. It did, I didn't get rudely interrupted. Yes. You know. Yeah. I got to wake I up on my own. I do the old, uh, you know, the repeat. The, you know. Oh my God! If it goes off, I don't even know why I set it. I, I set like three. Yeah. I, yeah. I know I'm lying. Do you put it across the room or do you? No. Use it? Yeah, I know. I need to put it across. Because I'm too lazy to get up. Me too. Yeah. I'm too lazy to <laughs> get up. I would just let it go off. Yeah. My sister literally came in. She could hear it because I was in the shower and by the time it went off, oh. and she was like, "So I'll help you there." <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, well, everybody, be sure to pick up Cheryl's new album. It's called Evolution. It's so incredible. I love Evolution as well, by the way. Um, and you. you can buy it wherever you get your music. The coolest thing is everything sounds different. Listen to the whole record from start to finish. Do it. We challenge do you. Do it. We challenge. I dare you to do it. If you do, uh, you'll win a brand new car at the end of it. <laughs> you get a car. You get your... No, you don't. <laughs> Unless Cheryl's buying. A brand new car poster. Yeah, a nice little toy. <laughs> it's like...